All right, I'm Jason Bellamy here at the 44th Mary McMillan Lecture with the 44th Mary McMillan Lecturer, Roger Nelson. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so this is obviously a signature event every year, a conference. Um, very proud moment for anybody who gets to give the lecture. Um, your, present, your lecture was called The Next Evolution, and you mentioned several big changes that happened for the profession. Just give me a few of those. Yes, yeah, so the, uh, one of the biggest um, changes that will occur is the increased emphasis on value. Because patients will demand value for the care. And the other issue is, is that the cost of care must be identified early on. Uh, and then also patients are going to be able to look at websites and they're going to be able to pick therapists ahead of time and also know when, those, when that care is good or bad and they'll pick the therapists that provide good care within their cost requirements. You had several recommendations and ideas, but one of the recommendations you had was for the physical therapist to perform as a life coach. Give me an idea of what you mean by that. A well, life coach is somebody that, well, one of the things that came to mind is when people talk about, I'm going to my dentist, I'm going to my doctor. Do we say that we're going to my physical therapist? And so the life coach is really someone that becomes my physical therapist. So I talk to that uh, therapist in times when I'm healthy, just for questions. And then I also seek that, that, that therapist out when I'm old uh, or injured, or even when my family gets injured. I say, gee, Roger, what's going on here? How can you help me? And, and, and so the life coach becomes my physical therapist. And that's an important issue that we need to get out because physical therapy is currently treated as a generic term and so what we need to really understand is that the therapist is the one that's providing skilled intervention to the patient. Another concept you talked about was the importance of entrepreneurship and critical thinking. Where does that need to develop over the coming years? How does that happen? Well that happens, it should happen at the level of the educational program. In the intermediary step, I believe that you, you can also have entrepreneurship through continuing education efforts and through other mechanisms of online education. But we need to think differently. We need to think, as some people have say, outside the box. Some Harvard Business Review people say it's okay to think within the box if you're an expert. Uh, but we need to start to say, how can we do things differently? And how can we do things that will impact the general health of patients. Speaking of thinking outside of the box, another thing you brought up several times and underlined was the importance of being willing to fail. Uh, expand on that. Well, I've failed a lot, and you learn from your failures. And I think one of the problems that we have as a profession is that we are worried about failing and worried about the, the individual's response to our failure. So if the APTA starts an initiative and it fails, they're a little worried about that. Well. As I said, you need to fail to sometimes to move forward. So move on several fronts. Move on areas that, that you think you need to go to. And move on areas that really need to be uh, enhanced in physical therapy. Realizing you, you will fail occasionally, but you really need to, um, need to go past that point. So if you missed the Mary McMillan lecture because you couldn't be here in Salt Lake City, it's actually not too late for you to watch it. We, that was part of our virtual conference. You'll be able to, if you weren't here in Salt Lake City, as of July 7th, you'll be able to order that package, be able to see the full Mary McMillan lecture, enjoy that, um, see the slides, see the video, all of that. Roger Nelson, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, for more updates like these, we're doing them all week here from Salt Lake City. Go to ape.org slash conference. That's also where you can learn about virtual conference. And go to ape.org slash conference slash news for more video dispatches. I'm Jason Bellamy. We'll catch you later.